And now to honor America, especially the brave men and women serving our nation in the Persian Gulf and throughout the world, please join in the singing of our national anthem. America, I've given you all, and now I'm nothing. I can't stand my own mind. America, when will we end the human war? Go fuck yourself with your atom bomb. I don't feel good. Don't bother me. I won't write my poem till I'm in my right mind. America, when will you be angelic? When will you take off your clothes? When will you look at yourself through the grave? When will you be worthy of your million Trotskyites? America, why are your libraries full of tears? I'm sick of your insane demands. When can I go into the supermarket and buy what I need with my good looks? Today I've been practicing the Star Single Banner. I hope you enjoy it. America, after all, it is you and I who are perfect, not the next world. Oh, I'm not going to <laughs> You made me want to be a saint. There must be some other way to settle this argument. Can you see? Are you being sinister or is this some form of practical joke? I'm trying to come to the point. I refuse to give up my obsession. America, stop pushing. I know what I'm doing. I haven't read the newspapers for months. Every day somebody goes on trial for murder. Through the night, that flag was... America, I used to be a communist when I was a kid. I'm not sorry. I smoke marijuana every chance I get. Whenever I go to Chinatown, I get drunk and never get laid. I never get laid. My mind is made up. There's going to be trouble. You should have seen me reading Marx. I have mystical visions and cosmic vibrations. Still haven't told you what you did to Uncle Max after he came over from Russia. I'm addressing you. Are you going to let your emotional life be run by Time magazine? I'm obsessed by Time Magazine. I read it every week. And the its cover stares at me every time I slink past the corner candy store. I read it in the basement of the Berkeley Public Library. It's always telling me about responsibility. Businessmen are serious. Movie producers are serious. Everybody's serious but me. Can you see? I mean, it was Marvin Gaye. You know, it was just unique. It was special. It occurs to me that I am America. I'm talking to myself again. Asia is rising against me. I haven't got a Chinaman's chance. I'd better consider my national resources. <laughs> My national resources consist of two joints of marijuana, millions of genitals, an unpublishable private literature that goes 1,400 MPH, and 25,000 mental institutions. I say nothing about my prisons, nor the millions of underprivileged who live in my flower pots under the light of 500 suns. I have already abolished the whorehouses of France. Tangiers are the next to go. My ambition is to be president, despite the fact that I'm a Catholic. America, how can I write a holy litany in your silly mood? I will continue, like Henry Ford. My strophes are as individual as his automobiles. More so, they're all different sexes. America, when I was seven, Mama took me to communist cell meetings. They sold us garbanzos, a handful per ticket. A ticket cost a nickel, and the speeches were free. Everybody was angelic and sentimental about the workers. It was all so sincere. You have no idea what a good thing the party was in 1835. Scott Marion was a grand old man, a real mensch. Mother Blue made me cry. I once saw Israel Amter played. Everybody must have been a spy. America, you don't really want to go to war.
Americans, them bad Russians. Them Russians, them Russians, them Chinese, them Russians. The Russia wants to eat us alive. The Russia is power mad. She wants to take our cars from out our garages. The Russia wants to grab Chicago. The Russia wants to grab Chicago. She wants to take our cars from out our garages. The Russia wants to grab Chicago. Her needs red readers is digest. Her wants our auto plants in Siberia. The big bureaucracy running our filling stations. That no good. They make Indians learn read. They need big black niggers. I make us all work 16 hours a day. Help. America, this is quite serious. America, this is the impression I get from looking in the television set. America, is this correct? I'd better get right down to the job. It's true, I don't want to join the army or turn lathes and precision parts factories. I'm nearsighted and psychopathic anyway. America, I'm putting my queer shoulder to the wheel.